for 2021. We are starting at 7 p.m. for our virtual OTP Easter for our newly designated consultants in the national level. But before anything else, our dear researchers, let us have our opening prayer first and then to be followed by our national anthem. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of good health and peace that we have enjoyed for so many years. As we find ourselves in this time of crisis today, we ask for your divine intervention and mercy to be upon each of us. Come and guide the minds of those working to discover a treatment to the COVID-19 virus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and clarity of mind so that all peoples will be free from the threat of this ailment. We also pray for the healthcare workers that are standing in the front line of this battle. Father, we thank you for their hearts of service, putting the needs of society before their own, generously responding to the cry of your people. We ask that you will grant them strength and protection as they give of themselves in selfless service. May you fill them with your Holy Spirit as they work to be your healing hands and feet. Father, we also surrender to you all those who have been afflicted with the virus. Grant them your healing grace, merciful Father, so that they may recover swiftly and continue to be witnesses of your love in their lives. Mother Mary, we ask for your intercession in this great time of need. Cover each of us with your blue mantle of protection, so that we may be preserved in good health, to continue to glorify your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ, our Savior and Redeemer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, once again po, good evening, dear EDCOR Research Consultants, and welcome to our virtual oath-taking ceremony in the national level held today, May 4, 2021, starting at 7 p.m. All right. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I will be the moderator for tonight. Uh, I am Mr. Ross Vigenti Ramos, the OIC Coordinator of Region 9, and will be the moderator of this oath-taking event. Indeed, it is a blessing to be part of this wonderful event. Thank you very much, Po Edgar, for giving me this opportunity to be the moderator and to witness such great event. Um, first of all, I would like to introduce, without further ado, Dr. Richard D. Sanchez, the Head Research Consultant of the Edgar Educational Research Center. Next, I will be introducing the different consultants that will be the, the peak of the hour the men and women of the hour which would be holding their virtual oath taking first of all of course we have the oath taking proper to be facilitated by none other than dr melanie Villoria briones our consultant for international affairs dr briones serves in the graduate schools of don honorio benaventura university and holy angel university and then the one who would accept the speech and prepare the acceptance speech is Dr. Adrian Lorenzi Carvajal. Dr. Carvajal is the Dean of the Institute of Graduate School of San Sebastian College, Recolatos in Manila, Philippines. Under Humanitarian Affairs and Organizational Advocacy, we have Dr. Bernadette L. Leharde. Dr. Leharde is a Master Teacher in the Division Career Guidance Program and Homeroom Guidance Coordinator of DepEd Pampanga. And also, we have Dr. Conrad M. Berkeley. Dr. Berkeley is the Dean of Institute of Arts and Sciences and Teaching Education in the Mabalacat City College of Pampanga. Under Personal Affairs and Organizational Structure, we have Dr. Adrian Lawrence P. Carvajal. Dr. Carvajal is the Dean of the Institute of Graduate Studies of San Sebastian. And we also have Dr. Mark Joseph Santos. Dr. Santos is a professor at the I Academy in Makati City, Philippines. But for your information, po, due to some important matters, Dr. Carba, uh, Dr. Santos rather will not be around, but he will undertake his oath in front of Dr. Adrian Carbajal. Under research publications and trainings, we have Dr. Alvin B. Nuki. Dr. Nuki is a public school district supervisor in the Department of Education, Schools Division of Bulacan Central, Luzon, Philippines. We also have Dr. Philip Joseph D. Sarmiento. Dr. Sarmiento is a full professor from the Holy Angel University, Angeles City, Philippines. Under Quality Assurance, we have Dr. Paulo T. Lumanlan. Dr. Lumanlan is an independent researcher and quality assurance advocate in Central Luzon, Philippines. And we also have Dr. Arvin Alvin R. De Mesa. Dr. De Mesa is the Director of Internal Quality Assurance and Centro ng Wika and Cultura of Leyte Normal University, Tacloban City, Leyte, Philippines. Under Finance, we have Dr. Angeline M. Pangilinan. Dr. Pangilinan is an Assistant Professor for of the University of Makati, Makati City. Philippines. And we also have Dr. Raymond P. Lintag. Dr. Raymond P. Lintag is a health worker from the Jose B. Lingad Memorial Regional Hospital or as we know as JBL po from the city of San Fernando. Sad to say, Dr. Raymond P. Lintag will also not be around but he will under, he will have his oath taken after some time. And now po, without further ado, I will be passing off the microphone to Dr. Melanie Villoria Briones to have the oath taking proper, our consultant for international affairs and my previous professor at the University of the Assumption. Good evening, po, Dr. Melanie. Uh, Doc, nakamute pa po yata kayo. 
thank you. Oh, good, yeah. good evening, everyone. Congratulations in advance to our consultants in the national level. Hi, Sir Rothby. Uh, can we do it by one, one by one? Hello, can you endorse them to me one at a time? So let's ah, have the po. first one. Thank sige you. Po, okay, po. Uh, first of all, po, we have Dr. Bernadette Leharde and Dr. Conrad M. Berkeley. Okay, so let's have Dr. Leharde and Dr. Berkeley. Are they going to take it simultaneously? Uh, ano po? Uh, yes po, sila po. Uh, first, okay. sila po silang dalawa and then so on and so forth. Po. Okay, let's have Dr. Leharde first. Thank you. Good evening, Pa. Good evening, Dr. Leharde. I cannot see. Okay, so please raise your right hand and follow after me. I, please state your name. I, Bernadette L. Leharde. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. And to the best of my skills. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and abilities. Execute the powers. Execute the powers. And trust repose in me and trust repose in me as at core educational research centers please state your designation as at core educational research center for humanitarian so help me god so help me god congratulations dr leharde thank you for so let's have Dr. Conrad Berkeley. Yes, good doc. Good evening. Good evening. Please raise your right hand and follow after me. I, please state I, your name. Conrad M. Berkeley. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare that I will truly and faithfully that I will truly and faithfully to the best of my skills to the best of my skills knowledge and abilities knowledge and abilities execute the powers execute the powers and trust repose in me and trust repose in me as at core educational research centers at Ed Core Educational Research Center. Your designation, please. As Deputy Consultant for Humanitarian Affairs and Organizational Advocacy. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Dr. Berkeley. Thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Briones. Congratulations, Pa. Thank yeah, you so and much, I would Dr. like, Sir. yeah, before we continue with the oath taking, I would like to um Congratulate now another achievement for Dr. Conrad Berkeley. He will be turning over the deanship position, but uh, please support. I, I, I'm going to take this opportunity. <laughs> let us congratulate him and let us support him for Thank a so new much, unit huh? that was just established at Mabalakat City College, the unit of the continuing professional development. He was chosen because of his excellent ability. And the unit is really new, and he's the only person who can really market our continuing professional development. We are asking, of course, support because it's really a new department, zero. He will start with everything from the organizational structure, plan, policies, and programs. So let us congratulate and let us give him a virtual applause, Dr. Conrad Berkeley. Thank you so much, Dr. Congrats, Paul. 
Thank you. Dr. Ar uh, Sir Ross B, sorry ah. Yes, well, <laughs> po, sige po, okay one. lang po. <laughs> but we need to be proud really, no? And yes, I'm excited po. for the continuing professional development who will be uh, which will be spearheaded by Dr. Conrad. Thank you. So Thank Sir you Ross so B, okay, who will be the next officers, consultant okay, brother? Po. Yes po. Next po, we have the personal affairs and organizational structure. We have Dr. Adrian Lawrence E. Carvajal. Okay, Dr. Carvajal. Good yes, evening. Po. Good evening po, Dr. Brione. Please raise your right hand and follow after me. I. I. State your uh, name. Dr. Adrian Carvajal. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise um, to declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. To the best of my skills. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and abilities. Execute the powers. Execute the powers and trust repose in me. And trust repose in me. As at core educational research centers, state your designation. At at core educational research center, as a consultant for personal affairs and organizational structure. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Dr. Carvajal. Thank you so Congrats much. Uh, we also have Dr. Mark Joseph Santos for personal affairs and organizational structure. Dr. Santos, please raise your right hand and follow after me. Is he here? Yes. Okay, you're Good on up. the spotlight now. I. I. State your name. Mark Joseph Santos. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. And to the best of my skill. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and abilities. Execute the powers. Execute the power and trust repose in me. And trust and post in me. As at core educational research centers. As at core educational research centers. Your designation, please. Deputy consultant for personal affairs and organizational structure. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you and congratulations. Dr. Santos. Congrats po. Uh, next one, we have under research publications and trainings, we have Dr. Philip Joseph Sarmiento. Dr. Sarmiento, good evening. Please raise your right hand and follow up to me. Good evening po, Doc. I, please state your name. I, Philip Joseph Sarmiento. Do solemnly and sincerely do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. And to the best of my skills. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and abilities. Execute the powers. Execute the powers. And trust repose in me. And trust the post in me. As EDCOR Educational Research Centers, your designation. As EDCOR Educational Centers, Deputy for Consultant for Research and Trainings. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Dr. Sarmiento, and former student of mine. So you see how I'm aging. <laughs> I won't reveal my age. I will consult you in terms of publications. Congratulations. Thank you po. Congratulations po. Sir Rosby. Uh, next one po, under quality assurance, we have Dr. Alvin R. Demesa. 
Dr. Alvin De Mesa. Good evening. Yes, good evening po, ma'am. Yes, please raise your right hand and follow after me. I. I. State your name. Alvin. Alvin R. De Mesa. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. And to the best of my skills. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and abilities. Execute the powers. Execute the powers. And trust repose in me. And trust repose in me. As EDCOR Educational Research Centers. As EDCOR Educational Research Centers. Your designation. Deputy Consultant for Quality Assurance. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Dr. De Mesa. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. That's for mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Next one po under finance, we have Dr. Angeline Pangilinan. Doc Dr. Pangilinan, the very beautiful Dr. Pangilinan. Good evening. Good evening. Please raise your right hand uh, and follow after me. I. I, Angeline M. Pangilinan. Do solemnly and sincerely. Do solemnly and sincerely. Promise, swear, and declare. Promise, swear, and declare. That I will truly and faithfully. That I will truly and faithfully. And to the best of my skills. And to the best of my skills. Knowledge and abilities. Knowledge and ability. Execute the powers. Execute the power. And trust repose in me and trust repose in me as EDCOR educational research centers at EDCOR educational research center please as, state your designation as consultant for finance so help me god so help me god congratulations dr pangalina uh, congrats you. po thank you everyone for the trust uh, okay na po, natapos na po sila, Doc. Thank you very much po, um, Dr. Melanie Briones, for facilitating our oath-taking ceremony. And now, let me share my screen. Permission to uh, share po. And now to have this acceptance speech, let us all welcome Dr. Adrian Lawrence Carvajal, a consultant for personal affairs and organizational structure. Uh, thank you, Sir Roseby. Yeah. Allow me to share my screen. Para, uh, I will have an easy life. Na lang po. Okay, po, Doc. Okay. okay. Well, uh, allow me to uh, cite a good quotation from the book The Purpose-Driven Life by Rick Warren, being other people. So to, to Dr. Richard Sanchez, our most admired founder of EPCOR and all esteemed research consultants. By God's grace, we are extremely honored to have been selected and appointed to the national level positions of EPCOR. We are grateful in the confidence that was given to us and assured the founder, the research consultants, as well as the stakeholders of EDCOR, that we shall do our best to excel in our given function. There are, I think, six qualities that have brought us here together tonight. Well, this is subject for qualitative research anyway. So number one, our professionalism, our experience. Uh, number two, our demonstration of potential and capacity to grow. Uh, three, our capability to create a research climate that everyone should embrace. Four, uh, selfless service and intent in achieving at core goals without waiting for rewards. Five, our pledge of meritorious performance. 
the number six there is going to be our own personal qualities. We implore the guidance of the Almighty to do our best to justify the trust and confidence bestowed upon us and to contribute to the success of ECOR and its aim for everyone to embrace the culture or culture of research. Serving Almighty through the service of others, thank you very much uh, for all of us who have accepted the national level positions. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, po, Dr. Carvajal, for that wonderful acceptance speech. Um, and natapos na po ang ating... Yay, tapos na. Yes, natapos na po. Congratulations po. Natapos na po ang ating virtual opening ceremony once again. Congratulations to our dear researchers. Thank you very uh, much. Sir Rosby, uh, for a while. Okay, okay, okay lang po. Apo, apo. Uh, pasensya na po, di ako nakapagsabi. I just also would like to take this uh, opportunity para pasalamatan po ang mga kasama nating research consultants na nag-attend dito. Uh, hindi po ganun karamihan because uh, alam niyo naman, during oath taking we are only inviting uh, research consultants. So uh, we are not uh, requiring uh, anyone. And uh, gusto pong pasalamatan si Sir, si Sir Rosby uh, sa pagiging moderator. Napakagaling po ninyo. Salamat po. And of course, yung mga kasama po natin na uh, tinanggap ang trabaho dito sa uh, national level. And personally po, I would like to congratulate also the, fol the following persons. Although meron din po tayong congratulatory message na ipopo sa EdCore about them. Unang-una po, pasensya na po yung iba kung merong uh, panibagong achievements, hindi po nakapagkwento sa akin, hindi ko alam. Uh, Siyempre po, I would like to congratulate ang dati kong kuya sa seminaryo, si... Uh, Sir PJ, Dr. PJ Sarmiento, na ngayon po ay promoted na into a full professor sa Holy Angel University. Napagaling po ni uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, PJ. Uh, napakarami po yata niyang steps na uh, nilampasan. Uh, uh, kaya ngayon ay nasa full professor na po siya from uh, the, uh, the former level po. And of course, gusto ko rin pong pasalamatan. I, I mean, i-congratulate ang mga tao sa... Uh, Mabalakat City College, Pampanga. Unang-una po si ang ating uh, consultant for humanitarian uh, affairs and uh, organizational advocacy, si Dr. Conrad Buerkley. Sabi nga po ni Doc Melanie kanina ay uh, panibagong opisina, panibagong created na, na opisina ang kanyang uh, ahawakan ng uh, Continuing Professional Development Unit. Siya po ang magiging director Da, uh, doon sa Mabalakat City. So congratulations po, Dr. Uh, Buerkley. And then of course, ang uh, nag-facilitate po, ang nag-administer ng ating oath para sa gabing ito, si Dr. Melanie Viloria Briones, uh, my former professor sa Mother of Good Counsel. Bali, dalawa po kami dati niyang studyante dito. Ako po sa si Kuya PJ. So ako po ang pinakabata sa kanila ngayon. Kung anong edad po nila, hindi ko lang po alam <laughs> kung ano na po mga edad nila. Uh, Dr. Melanie uh, Viloria Briones uh, has uh, recently been appointed uh, in Mabalakat City College as the uh, Vice President for Research and Extension. Uh, concurrent din din po siya ng, uh, ng uh, Institute of uh, Arts, uh, Education, Sciences and Education. And at the same time, she will also work uh, with Dr. Conrad Workley doon po sa CPD unit. So, Uh, napakagaling po ng ating mga consultants in the national level kaya po napaka uh, ako ay uh, feeling blessed tayo po ay feeling blessed talaga na nakasama po natin sila so maraming maraming salamat po Sir Rosby, uh, after po nito ay magmi-meeting sandali ang mga uh, consultants in the national level but di uh, mga kasama po natin na uh, audience ay pwede na po nating uh, pasalamatan at nang makapag-live po sila. Salamat po. Okay po. Sige po. Thank you very much po, Dr. Richard Fuentes, the head consultant of our research organization. So, um, pahingi lang po ako ng one minute in order to promote our upcoming event. Let us see each and everyone starting tomorrow, May 5, starting from 6.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. The second session will be on May 12 and also our third session will be on May 12. Fantasy. Under our project Sagip Mananalipsit for everyone entitled Unveiling the Truth and Embracing Reality 
to faithfulness to the data, a call of every researcher. And also, I would like to take this opportunity in order to meet our S4 Black Teacher. Um, if you are interested, you can contact Dr. Mark Sain. Um, for information lang po, a part of the um, earnings that mm -hmm. we will take will be donated to our uh, to our organization in order to promote different research activities and support other financial assistance. Once again, thank you very much and congratulations po, dear Ed, for Research Conference. Uh, this is your moderator, Mr. Rosalind Ramos. Good night po and God bless you. Good night po. Sir Rosalind, mag group lecture daw tayo, sabi ni Dr. Bahal. <laughs> Bahal Bago walis yung mga kasama natin. Sige. Kindly open Dr. po. Dr. Sanchez, student ko rin si Sir Rosby. <laughs> At talaga po, baka na po kami lahat dito, studyante nyo, ma'am. <laughs> Grabe <Wait> ka. <laughs> Joke lang po.